What's happening guys, F from TechSource, happy Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I'm um, assuming you're watching this on Monday, of course. Um, so I wanna let you guys know that a few weeks ago I opened up a Discord and I'm usually on there every day, hanging out with my subscribers, goofing around and mostly playing Rainbow Siege. We also have a few dedicated channels for setups and computer talk for anyone that wants to get tips on their setups or building PCs. We even have a dedicated meme channel for those dank memes. I'm currently looking for more moderators to help me run the Discord, um, or if you simply just want to join to hang out, play some games or whatever, then you can do that as well. Uh, I might even do monthly giveaways for my active members on there. So yeah, if you guys are interested, my Discord link is below. I'm gonna give huge thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. If you guys care about your privacy and security every time you go online, then you should be using a VPN. Much like a firewall that protects your data on your PC, a VPN protects your data online. With NordVPN, your data gets encrypted and your location stays private, so you can surf the web anonymously without worrying about anyone stealing your sensitive information. NordVPN has thousands of servers in 61 plus countries and it's available on iOS and Android, so you can protect yourself online even when using your smartphone. You can stream content, download videos, and shop online without your ISPs knowing. The best part is my subscribers can get 75% off a three-year plan plus an extra free month by using the code listed on the screen. So make sure to visit nordvpn.com techsource or click the link below and start getting protected today. Kicking off the episode is Andy and his dual stacked setup featuring two 27 inch monitors. The desk he's using is called Jarvis and it's a motorized desk, but he replaced the top with an Alera laminate tabletop, which I just discovered today makes some really nice tabletops. And he uses this setup for pretty much everything from music production to writing, VR, and of course gaming. He's rocking the Corsair K95 Platinum keyboard with the Dark Core SE mouse and two mouse pads. Looks like he did drill a hole in the desk to route both the cables into what appears to be a grommet that he made himself. There's definitely a lot going on in this setup, but Andy did an excellent job keeping everything organized. I do like the speaker stands that he installed for his Mackie CR4s. I think it looks a lot cleaner raised like this, and it's also more effective since they are now at his ear level. As I mentioned before, he is into music production, so he's got a lot of audio gear, including two mics, which are both hooked up to a boom arm, and it's plugged into the Mackie Big Knob audio interface. But look at how he routed the cables. Maybe some of you guys can learn from this. First of all, the position of the boom arms are perfect, right at the edge of the desk. That way he's able to run the cable straight down and underneath the desk. But then, check this out, he drilled a hole next to the audio interface, so that way he can route the cable back up out of the desk and plug it straight into it. That is very clever. He also has a nice collection of headphones underneath the desk, the Sennheiser HD 558s and the Audio Technicas being one of my favorites. The rest of the cables are managed really well. Looks like he used a bunch of cable clips, sleeving and mounting hardware to keep everything tucked away. Finally, the PC powering this setup has an R5 2600 with 32 gigs of RAM and the MSI GTX 1660 Ti. It's a nice looking build, but personally, I would remove those two RGB strips on the PSU shroud or maybe put them somewhere else so it's not visible. I think there's plenty of lighting in that case, to be honest. Regardless, this is an epic setup. I think Andy did a great job balancing gaming with work while keeping a super clean and organized setup. Thank you for entering. Speaking of epic setups, at number two is Josh from Ohio and his dual monitor setup featuring two MSI Optics 24 inch displays that are mounted on the desk. Speaking of the desk, it's interesting that you tucked in the Alex drawers because now you can't access the top drawer since the tabletop is going to interfere. So I'm curious why you did that in the first place. On the desk, he's using the Ampro 2 white keyboard and the Razer Lancehead Tournament Edition mouse. It also looks like he's going with a black on white color scheme with accent lighting, judging by the gear choices. He also has a naked Xbox One in the corner that can use some skins to stand out and a HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset hanging from the bottom. Just so you know, HyperX does make a white gaming headset that I think will fit perfectly with your setup, especially since you have some purple lighting. It will match the accents of the headset a lot better. The PC powering the setup has a Ryzen 7 2700X, 32 gigs of RAM, and the MSI RTX 2070. I love that the colors of the PC are consistent with the rest of the setup as well. The AIO tube sleeving and white cables add a nice zing to the overall build, and the icing on the cake, of course, is the lighting. 
Those two IKEA floor lamps with the nano leaf panels complement the look beautifully. Excellent gaming setup. Thank you, Josh, for entering. And number three is Kiet from Ontario. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. And his super unique setup that he uses for mostly gaming and homework. And this setup is interesting for several reasons. For starters, he has a green colored wall, which already makes the setup stand out. And secondly, all three of his monitors are spaced out, with the third one being in vertical position. He's using the HyperX TKL FPS alloy keyboard with a Logitech G602 mouse and the same speakers that I use in my own setup, the Luna Eclipse E25s from Edifier. I'm starting to think that maybe he spaced the monitors so that it doesn't interfere with his speakers. I feel like if you grouped up all your monitors and centered them in the middle, you can put the speakers towards the end. Kiet is also using a microphone which is hooked up to a boom arm and underneath the desk we got the Bayer Dynamic DT770s which are plugged into his DAC. Cables are managed well with some channel raceways and mounting tape to keep everything underneath the desk and the PC pushing all those pixels has another Ryzen CPU. It looks like Ryzen is rising. <laughs> Nobody? Okay. One small thing I would recommend is maybe skinning that SSD just so it's more consistent with the color scheme of the PC. I know it's not a big deal, I'm just really picky, that's all. You know, the green wallpaper isn't bad, but I just feel like it doesn't work well with your black and red setup, not to mention the blue gaming chair. But colors aside, I think you have a great setup for gaming and productivity. Thank you, Kiet, for entering. Lukatsu, who is a streamer, is up next with his insane triple monitor gaming setup featuring the Acer Predator Z1, which is being sandwiched by two Samsung 24-inch monitors. At first glance, you might think that he routed the cables through the wall, but in fact, he grouped them all together into a cable sleeve and routed everything towards the right monitor and behind his PC. You guys can use this method as well to give the illusion that the cables are hidden. All you need to do is have your PC as close as possible to the monitor on the far right. In fact, I would have probably moved the PC a bit more to the left, that way it covers the cables completely. The desk is custom made out of the Carbly countertop from Ikea, a couple Alex drawers and some capital legs as support. He is using the Razer Black Widow RGB keyboard with the Logitech G502 mouse and a Razer Nari headset. He did hook up his microphone to his audio interface, which he kept underneath the table right beside his Nintendo Switch that's hooked up to his Elgato, so that way he can stream straight from his PC. The PC powering everything has an 8700K and the MSI GTX 1080 Aero, and I do like the custom backplate for the GPU and the hardware monitor that he installed on the bottom, but I do suggest a few things. Now this is a pretty expensive setup and PC you have here, so I would spend a little bit more and pick up some white custom cables to improve the aesthetics of your PC. Also that USB 3 cable is kind of hurting my eyes. I'm curious as to why you didn't route that cable through the middle grommet instead. I don't have any complaints for the rest of the cables though, I think you did a great job managing everything else underneath the desk. I gotta give you extra points for that Ultra Instinct mural up top. You know I got a soft spot when it comes to Dragon Ball Super or anything Dragon Ball related. This setup definitely has lots of personality. The lighting is on point along with the symmetry and organization. I think that Lukatso built a near perfect setup for streaming and gaming. If you guys wanna check out his Twitch channel, I'll drop a link to it down below. Thank you Lukatso for entering. Last but not least, we have Patrick, who is a graphic designer and web developer from Atlanta, Georgia, and this is the setup he uses for gaming and work. He's rocking a 34-inch Alienware Ultrawide with a 24-inch Asus monitor in vertical mode. He is using a sit-and-stand desk with a custom tabletop, but since he doesn't have any extra space on the desk for his PC, he did put it on a nightstand, which is still a lot better than putting the PC on the ground. The surface of the desk is pretty busy with some Razer gear. He's using the Razer Ornata Chroma keyboard with the Mamba wireless mouse and a Luxcom's RGB mouse pad. It looks like he routed those cables underneath the Leviathan speakers and into some Velcro straps. The rest of the wires are being supported by a rack underneath the desk and some double-sided tape to keep the power strip up there. It is interesting, however, that he mounted the HyperX headset all the way down there. I feel like this type of hanger would have been way more convenient to reach since you could have put it a lot closer to you. The PC that's powering the setup looks really nice, however I'm kind of confused with the fan configuration because it looks like you have the top three fans set as intake and the three side fans as exhaust. Now there's nothing technically wrong with this type of setup, but if you're gonna keep it this way, I would have moved both of those radiator fans above the radiator so that it's closer to the surface of the case, that way it can pull more fresh air. 
Unfortunately, the case doesn't support a rear fan. Otherwise, adding one more fan as intake would have helped with the airflow, as it would be pushing all the air coming from the radiator towards the right side of the case, and that's when those three fans can exhaust all that hot air out. I mean, if this was my build, I would have simply swapped the positions of the fans, but I'm sure you had a good reason to do it this way. There are some questionable choices in this setup, but overall it does what it's supposed to. Thank you, Patrick, for entering. And that's it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys vote in the comment section below on who you think has the best desk setup. And if you guys want sneak peeks on upcoming projects and other setups not featured on the video, then make sure to follow me on my IG. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your beautiful eye sockets. I will see you in the next video.